Okay, one thing I promised was to kind of redo that uh, video I did showing the install of the TSDZ2 um, Tongsheng system, which I put in. So I'm just going to quickly go over that now. Um, it's not as blowy as it was, and we're using an external mic, so maybe I can just shoot this real quick and just let people see what you basically do to install one of these so this here there's your motor that's 250 watt street legal uk motor it slots in here so on the motor here you've got a, a basically a bracket which comes up and it goes through this which you'll see in the instructions called a bottom bracket what you have to do is just remove everything so you remove your arms you remove your pedals remove those two from the side the original ones and once you've removed everything you then have to remove some parts that are inside some tubes and stuff which are inside that bottom bracket you are going to need before you start a tool which will undo this one i had shimano uh, shram 9 on this one so it needed a, uh, a shimano tool to actually loosen the uh, equivalent that was on the on the trike before so you will need that to take off your uh, original bottom bracket but once you've got your bottom bracket off and that's completely empty then literally you're just taking that motor and it just slots in and then fastens here using that bolt there and that's really all that actually fastens that to the trike what you've then got to do is let's move this one out of the way what you then have to do is you'll have to make that so that there is a collar underneath here there's a, a little bracket and the bracket that's on there is supposed to attach to um, the v-frame or the diamond frame on a standard bike we don't have that frame to attach it to and as a result you will have to make a collar that just goes round your boom it will then attach using the bolt that holds that bracket on so it's the same bolt same hole there all you need is an aluminium strip which you just cut two holes on either side i've cut another one here just to allow the front array to come through and that will then what that does is it stops when you're pedaling it stops the motor the whole motor from rotating if you haven't got that bracket your motor is going to rotate so you need that so that's your your motor you've then got some wires which run from the motor one of the wires is going to run along here you're going to actually have to extend it and that's the power lead so the power lead which comes from here is normally only probably only comes to about there uh, normally because it's, you know, it's meant for a, for a standard bike we've got to take it all the way along uh, to the battery up there so you're going to need to extend that you need to extend it probably i think it's about three feet so that's the first wire you've got to extend the second wire you're going to have to extend is here in here you can see the speed sensor so let's have a look right there is the speed sensor magnet and down there is where I've put my actual speed sensor. Now that speed sensor comes with about a seven or eight inch, seven or eight inch wire. It's not enough, you need about two and a half feet. So you're gonna to have to extend that, uh, that wire, the speed sensor wire. And basically what you do is you cut it in the middle and you splice in um, another couple of feet of wire. So it then runs all the way up here to your motor. I think there is a company in the States uh, and maybe one in China also who produce an extended cable which you can buy but you should know about that to begin with because it'll probably take you know three or four weeks to get one in the post so uh, if you're going to go that route and not extend it yourself then you need to order that well in advance otherwise you'll be sat there with a kit which just will not work because it cannot work without that speed sensor here you've got your uh, controller and if we look under here you'll see here there's three ports that middle one there is going to there's a set of buttons which i've put in here which allow you to kind of remotely control that uh, that screen and that controller 
Um, on either side, there's two more ports, and those two ports there are actually for uh, sensor brake levers. So the brake levers with sensors, which will cut the power at the same time as you brake. I actually don't feel the need for them. The standard brakes work fine, so I've not installed those. I've just left the standard brakes on, which is why those two ports, as you can see there, um, are not in use. The setup I've done here for the, the screen I've used, this is an ice uh, accessory bar which runs along here and makes it really easy to mount. That's my throttle. There you go, throttle there. And here is the little control buttons I was just talking to you about. On these ones, by the way, those are accessory bars from, from or accessory mounts from uh, ICE, 38 pounds, I think it is about 40 pounds with shipping. You can just buy bar ends, straight bar ends. If you look those up on Google, straight bar ends, you can get them for about a fiver each, so about 10 pounds for a pair. It'll save you about 75 quid on uh, the two ICE accessories there. And I think that's probably worth doing. Um, what else do I need to show you on that? It's a fairly easy install. You see, one show, here is where I've done my, my battery. I've used the, uh, the ICE uh, bag bar here and I've made my own bracket and that's what I mount my batteries on. I've done the same on the other side because I've installed dual batteries, dual 48 uh, volt 13 amp batteries, which give me probably about a hundred mile range now with this. Um, but once you've decided and, and, and you know made a bracket for your battery, you've installed the, the motor up the front and you've extended your wires, that's pretty much it. You could install this whole motor you know in about an hour if you didn't have to extend the wires so if you've done your your homework beforehand and you've uh, you've ordered in your extended wires already then you can pretty much get this kit on in an hour a couple of hours okay if you're going to do it pedantically i've got to say i'm very anal with my installation so um i tend to take a lot a lot longer i think it took me well over a day just to complete everything and get it the way i wanted it but you know um a normal person just popping it onto on there and not uh, spending too much time tidying it up or making all little accessories here and there you could uh, you could do it in a couple of hours without any problems one thing to note is you can indeed some people say you can't yes you can you can put on a dual chain ring I've got the dual chain ring right there running it is a 42 teeth is the uh, the middle one, I've actually left the standard one on, which came with this uh, this trike, so it's the 42's on there. And then over that, I've then added a 52 tooth, and you'll probably find you'll need that. Um, I don't find the need with this system, it's got a lot of torque. It's only the 250 watt, but it's got plenty of torque, so that will take me up um, you know, heavy banks, <laughs> steep hills without any problems um, and I can, I can actually get up pretty much any steep hill by using the gears with the 52 teeth I rarely ever have to use that 42 now um, so if you want a little bit more speed you're gonna have to uh, get that dual chain ring in or just change out the 42 for a 52 certainly if I was gonna run with one ring I'd be running a 52 not a 42 and that's with me being on the Isle of Wight where they've got a lot of steep hills here. The other day I went for a ride to 25 miles and the elevation was 2,000 feet. Um, so you can imagine, yeah, we're, we're talking about some, some seriously steep hills and a lot of hills. But I find the 52T, I can, I can pretty much just go all day with that just by changing down through the gears and up through the gears. So there we have it. I have probably forgotten something which i should have said what else is there to think about not really much is your speed sensor cable needs lengthening your uh power cable is going to need lengthening if you're going to put brakes brake sensor brakes on you will have to extend that one there that one there is going to have to be extended by another two and a half feet as well um other than that i think you're pretty much good to go it's just setting up brackets and uh producing that little collar there you're going to have to make yourself but look it is not don't let it put you off it's not a complicated system to get onto a trike if you just take your time watch some videos watch some of the videos which i've done um you'll 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 get through it without any problems whatsoever um and certainly it's something which you can do yourself you don't need to go and pay you know a, a couple of 
company a thousand pounds or fifteen hundred pounds, whatever it is they cut, they, they you know they uh, charge to install this. If you've got some tools, some basic tools and some basic skills, you'll be able to pop this on and get it working without any problems. Okay, so there we go. That's the uh, TSDZ2 um, 250 watt motor from Dongsheng. And just a little small video there as to how you might go ahead and install it. Hope that helps.